I'd like to catch one so you'd have a little action on that thing. Fishing in antiquity has involved lures even in ancient times. The shapes are the same. Jim Bolenbach collects all kinds of rods, reels, These and tackle, like some of which date back to the turn of the century. This is a saltwater box from about 1900. All the tackle in it pretty much is the way I got it uh, from its original owner, a man in San Diego. The lures are made of things we wouldn't think of using today. These are made of bone with brass fittings with a hook or a double hook screwed to the bone and held in place by a wire. In this Jim says fishing became a national pastime after World War II and, and that everyone with an idea for a new lure obtained a patent and went into production. Texas was a hotbed of this activity. There are a half a dozen of the biggest lure makers in the world got started in Texas right after the war. Names that every fisherman recognizes, like Pico, the Padre Island Company, Whopper Stopper, and Bomber Bait Company of Gainesville, Texas. It all started in a uh, dirt floor garage. These two gentlemen got together. So they came up with the idea, let's make a floating diving bait. It's the one that floats on top of the water. And when you pull on it, it dives under the water. So you have the best of two worlds, which was back then revolutionary idea. Bomber Bait Company has been in business since 1946, and the majority of work here is still done by hand. The first step in the process is scraping the excess plastic off the bait so that it's a nice, smooth finish when it comes out the end of the line. There's as many as 11 to 15 different steps just strictly painting that goes on them. It all depends on what the customer wants. Some people are so amazed because they come in here and it's done so much by hand. They expect the baits to be on machines and going down and practically no personnel doing it, but it's practically all hand work. I started 20 years ago, better than 20 years ago, designing fishing lures. Back then, I would look at all the baits that Bomber makes and say, you can't make anymore. Everything's been made. That was 20 years ago. They're still going. It's just a, an ongoing process. Man thinks that this bait is better than the one he has. It's going to catch the trophy fish.